David Lovejoy with KGNC News Radio. We're here with Matthew Hand. He's running for judge of Potter County Court at Law Number Two. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Hand. Well, thank you, David. But it's Matt. Matt, there you go. I know. That's, um, what, Mr. Hand's your father? There we go. <laughs> First question to you: Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm a an attorney. I've been with Brown and Fortunato for 22 years. I do civil trial work. I represent clients in a wide range of matters in both state and federal court and advise them in matters that never end up in court. So my practice is uh, a very broad practice. Uh, prior to that, I was an attorney with Phillips Petroleum Company. That's how we came to town. Uh, after seven years with Phillips, Phillips decided they didn't need lawyers in Amarillo anymore, and my wife and I liked Amarillo better than we liked Phillips, so I turned down the transfer to Houston, they left, and I stayed. There you go. Uh, so we've been here since uh, since law school in 1988, and uh, been practicing law here ever since. Now, tell us why you're seeking this position, why you're seeking the bench. I am running for judge for a very simple reason. Potter County deserves experienced judges. I'm also an Eagle Scout. I believe in service, and by serving as judge Potter County Court Law Number Two, it gives me the opportunity to serve Potter County in a profession that's been very good to me and my family. So I'm looking forward to that opportunity. Uh, and it's for me, this is a new, a new uh, interest. A lot of times, I talk to attorneys who are running for judge. They talk about how they've always wanted to be the judge. And for me, that's not the case. I like what I do, and I'm good at it. But I've decided after 29 years, I've learned enough, done enough, seen enough, and appeared in front of enough good and bad judges to know the difference. And I understand how a court should work for the benefit of the people that it serves. So after 29 years, I've decided this is a job that I can do, and I would like to do it for the people of Potter County. Now, if you win this election, you win the bench, what is the one thing or things that you would want to implement or do right away? Okay. Well, Potter County Court Law Number 2 has been run well by the current judge, and it doesn't have a lot of the problems some of the other uh, races are talking about with things that need to be done right away. But that doesn't mean there's not some room for improvement. Uh, what I would look to be doing is looking to speed up the process overall. Justice delayed is justice denied many times. So what we will look at doing is we will look at having regular dockets for trials, both jury trials and non-jury trials, and we will set the cases to be tried as soon as possible. Uh, a lot of times cases languish uh, because the time frame set by the judge is long enough the lawyers don't need to work their case. Uh, cases can be worked, most cases can be Put together and ready for trial much faster, especially in this court because we're dealing with misdemeanor crimes. So having a uh, trial docket that forces the attorneys to look at their files, move them, they come to a more uh, a conclusion more rapidly, uh, which helps assure justice. If those who are not guilty, it frees them from the charges. Uh, for the taxpayer, it speeds up the process, saves money. And it also makes trials more efficient because witnesses are still present. They haven't left town. They haven't forgotten. So it makes the trial process much better. The other thing that I will do is we will have a regular motions docket in this court. And that motions docket will allow the attorneys to come to the court with problem cases that need special attention. And that may be an issue involving domestic abuse, it may be a veteran, it may be mental health, something where one of the attorneys believes there's something the court can do to improve the way the case is being handled. As it is now, that opportunity is there, but this will be something the attorneys will know, that they can file their motion, they will get it heard timely, where it can be um, set and resolved. The other thing that I will be looking to do is looking for opportunities to uh, have cases referred to pretrial diversion. Something they're doing in Randall County very successfully, but we're not doing that in Potter County. And the benefit to that is it allows first-time offenders, uh, nonviolent offenders, to work with the, the professionals at community supervision, get help for problems that they may have that's brought them into the system, whether it be 
drugs or alcohol, anger issues, what, whatever it might be, allow them to get help to resolve those problems so they don't become repeat offenders. If they successfully complete that program, they haven't been charged, they don't have the stigma of a criminal record, and not only that, they also, uh, through that program, they pay a supervision fee that helps fund the program. Uh, it's a win-win solution. It's good for the uh, offender because it avoids uh, problems related to having a criminal record. It's good for their family and children because it keeps them in the house and helps them get help where they need help to improve their situation at home. And it's good for the taxpayers because if we can keep people from coming back into the system, we're saving money, we're saving jail space, and we're building a better community. It's a win-win situation all the way around. All right. Well, thank you for taking time to come hang out with us, Matt. Of course, early voting is going on now for the March 6th primary election. Good luck in your campaign. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Anytime.